Hello there people, this is Bruce to be Cool or Nintendo Bruce, and I'm going to show you a deck recipe I've recently made on Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D's Decade Jewels for the Xbox 360. Now this is, I guess what you call a Nurse Reficule deck, focuses on the one monster, strangely enough Nurse Reficule, where as long as she's on the field, any card you activate or any card your opponent activates which gives them life points, uh, it actually reduces life points instead. Uh, you've probably seen the trap card Bad Reaction to Samochi. It's like that, but in a monster. So that's the idea. Uh, on top of that, there's heavy damage burn cards in here as well if you can't just simply uh, get Nurse Reficule going off. So, uh, as per usual, I'll go through the monsters, spells and traps, and how, why and what. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So monsters, first off, we have two Sias the Shadow Monarch. Uh, I would definitely say at least two in this deck. Uh, the two effects of it are absolutely amazing for this deck. So the first, where you can remove any card from the field as long as it's tribute summoned. That could either be a monster, if you wanted to go for an all-out attack as long as you know the back row is clear. Um, or it could get rid of a troublesome card like say Prime Material Dragon or Royal Decree. Or anything which is stopping you getting your game on basically. Uh, I hate that phrase, I can't believe I just used that. Honestly, unintentional from the, uh, I don't even know what the series is called, it's the second season of whatever anyway. Um, so yeah, very very handy card, and even itself, if you've only got to do a little bit more burn damage to your opponent, just summon this out and use its effect on itself and deal a thousand damage to the opponent. Yeah, many many things you can do with this card, and I love it in this sort of burn deck. Uh, Dandelion? Only there for defence, obviously, as well as to get some tokens out for your sciences. This isn't a necessity in the deck, and to be honest with you, I am looking for a, a replacement card, but, you know, it can still help you out in a decent situation, so, you know, use what you will there. I've got two Des Koalas there. Only two, because if you draw it later on in the game where the opponent has no hand, then it's not as good, obviously, but if you draw it right at the beginning, great, near enough 2,000 damage done. Um, and yeah, you can't really have a burn deck without this Koala. It can be a devastating burn damage effect. So yeah, definitely run two of those. A Lava Golem now. Now you can use the usual circumstance of, okay, you know, lock them down, use the Lava Golem and just let the burn damage happen. Uh, or you can keep it in your hand until you really need it. So say if you've got really a real big trouble against the opponent, like they've got a um, Prime Material Dragon out again, um, or Jinzo, things like that. It's mainly to consume their cards so they can't stop you doing what it is you need to do. So yeah, very very handy. And obviously as long as it lasts one turn, it's going to do a thousand damage, as long as it's not Book of Moon or whatever. So yeah, quite a handy card there. Marshmallow goes without saying. Defense can't be destroyed by battle and deals a thousand damage. Morphing Jar, number one. Uh, now this, I always have this in a burn deck. End of the day, most of these cards you're going to flick through like anything. So, you know, have it, that will replenish your hand, and hopefully you can draw something really, really decent, if you haven't already finished off the opponent. Uh, three Mystic Tomatoes. Find any Dark Monster, as per usual, or to obviously stall it out, and say if your opponent uh, opponent's last monster destroys your uh, Mystic Tomato, you can uh, then get Nurse Reficule if the mood suits you. So, yeah, fantastic Mystic Tomato with this deck. Uh, the main card itself now, N Nurse Reficule the Fallen One. Any effect that would cause your opponent to gain life points instead inflicts the same amount of damage to your opponent. Fantastic. Uh, what I also love about this card is it is a way to get around Prime Material Dragon. Now I know not everyone's going to use Prime Material Dragon, but in the day, with this and Prime Material Dragon out on the field, if you're going to activate one of your cards which gives your opponent's life points, it will give your opponent's life points. Whereas if you have an actual burn damage effect like Secret Barrel, Magic Cylinder, it will cause damage. So remember that it's, um, you know, two wrongs make a right, uh, making the card normal if both those cards are out on the field. Um, 1400 attack, as I've already mentioned, bring it out with Mystic Tomato, it evades Bottomless Trap Hole. You're barely going to attack with it either, so you're not going to get Dimensional Prisoned or whatever. But hey, if the field's open, then yeah, attack. And obviously the idea is get this out when you've got at least a couple of the cards in your hand. Maybe, you know, if you've got a gift a gift card, which I'll explain what that does later, then yeah, have it out on the field. 
but you've only got three of these and there's no monster regeneration here either, so uh, take your time, take your time. Now, Sangan, to either get a Mystic Tomato or Nurse Rift Kill or whatever the hell you want really, goes without saying. Uh, Spirit Reaper, Defense, uh, and Summon a Monk, so tribute a spell card to Special Summon Nurse Rift Kill from the deck or any other 4 star monster. Not that that's many, you know. But uh, yeah, that's just there to try and get Nurse Reficule out as soon as possible. So, that's the monsters. Uh, Spell-wise, we have two Allures of Darkness, because that's the most you can have. Notice that most of the monsters in the deck are dark, so... You know, you're going to be hard, quite hard push not to find a monster to use this with. So yeah, definitely run those. Uh, two Chain Strikes. Uh, end of the day, can cause mega damage, you know, at, at the very least it does 800, that's 10% of your opponent's life points already, and you can chain it to each other. So yeah, definitely run those. Messenger of Peace as stalling, plus your Mystic Tomato and Nurse Reficule can run under them if need be. Um, yeah, great little card, great little card. Feel free to run at least one or even two if you wanted to. Soul Taker, not one of the uh, well-known cards out there. Destroy one face-up monster your opponent controls, then your opponent gains a thousand life points. Now, this won't work if the usual applies like your opponent book and moons the monster, or you try using it on a face-down monster. So, make sure the situation's right. That's why I've only got two of these in the deck. Three, I think you're just gonna be hard pushed to use here. I mean, imagine drawing all three of these in Earth's Reficule, um, and your opponent hasn't summoned any monsters. That's Deadwood. So, uh, yeah, just run two of these, I'd say. Swords of Revealing Light goes without saying for stalling as well as flipping up for Soul Taker, so there is an extra use there. Three Upstart Goblins, obviously ideal with Nurse Reficule. If you have to use it, then fair enough, you know, you can hope to gain a gift card if you wanted to out of the, the card you draw, but obviously try and use this when there's Nurse Reficule in your hand or on the field, essentially, uh, and you know you're going to deal damage. Uh, three wave motion cannons, heavy hitters straight away, usually goads out the heavy storms as well if you lay one or even two, and even if it lasts a turn, hey that's a thousand damage, and uh, yeah, feel free to be a bit lucky if you want to uh, continue waiting, yeah, you know how it goes. Uh, so traps now, ceasefire, another hemi, da uh, hemi, what's a hemi? It's another heavy damage burn card, uh, with at least two monsters on the field of uh, effect variety, then that's a thousand. Um, the idea with this deck I haven't actually mentioned yet is to try as many heavy damage cards in your hand as possible. So wave motions a thousand, ceasefires could be a thousand, wave motion another thousand, etc., etc. So you want to try and finish them off within one turn, really. Um, it has been possible to do that. Um, um, admittedly, my most personally I've done is far, uh, get them down to 500. Um, but hey, it's just all about this next card, the gift card. Now, I, I've only got two, um, so I can only run two, but I would run a third, definitely. For that, I would either, if you want to sub out a monster, sub out the dun uh, Dandelion. If you want to sub out a spell, then I would say an Upstart Goblin. If you want to sub out a trap, then I would say a Secret Barrel, which we would come to later. So yeah, your opponent gains 3,000 life points, unless Nurse Reficule is on the field. You know, heavy, heavy damage there. So, yeah, you want three of these. Gravity Bind, obviously a standard. It's going to stall your opponent. Fantastic. Uh, Magic Cylinder, deals damage if your opponent attacks you. Why not, eh? Why not? And, as I already mentioned, Secret Barrels, uh, 200 damage times the amount of cards uh, in general. So, you want to try and pick these up as soon as possible. You know, at the beginning of a phase, it's going to do 1200 damage because the opponent has to draw as long as it's the beginning of the match, obviously. So, yeah. Also, notice quite a lot of these are chainable cards. So, again, it goes out the uh, uh, like the Heavy Storms, uh, Mystical Space Typhoons, Mobius, Sias, etc., etc., and wastes their effects. So, that's the idea with a lot of these cards that you're able to use them and not waste them. Uh, waste them, rather. So, yeah, that's the general theory of the deck. So, heavy damage get Nurse Reficule out as soon as possible, as long as you've got the cards, otherwise just burn them to, well, buggery really. In the extra deck, uh, I don't have any tuners, but why not have an extra deck as always? Side deck, haven't thought this through, as I never really do, but you've got an extra size there, I would say that's wise if you're up against a, a stalley yourself, um, or you want to try and cause more damage. 
um, if the opponent has more chainable cards by tributing this and uh, getting rid of a dark monster. Card destruction, flush out your hand or the opponent's hand. Heavy Storm, Mystical Space Typhoon, even a spell shattering arrow, say if your opponent's playing a uh, burn with wave motions um, or trying to stall you out. Messenger of Peace, if you want to stall some more. Monster Reborn, if you felt like playing it. I don't think it's that great for the deck in terms of, you know, it is just side deck material. Uh, you, the idea is just to burn as soon as possible rather than just rely on resurrection. Um, barrel behind the door, just in case. Crush card virus, can be nice, but remember that can't be used with summon a monk. Mirror force, Ojama Trio if you want to plug up your opponent's field. And two solemn judgments as well there. Um, why not if your opponent's going to try and summon out things which are a pain like some Morgan stuff? Um, you know, it depends on the situation, but I would say definitely have those. And a Torrential Tribute, why not, eh? Why not? And that is the Nurse Reficule deck that I've made. So, uh, like I say, remember to try and get three gift cards. That's what I would say to take away from this. And uh, as always, if you like it or you really love it, then give it a thumbs up or favourite or both. Um, and any questions or even any comments, I would love to see what you guys put. Uh, I honestly think this is a really genuine deck. From what I've heard from a buddy, it's played a lot like uh, in real life and uh, uh, on the dueling network, I believe. But I've never seen one made on this um, Decade Jewels game. So, yeah, uh, feel free to try. Uh, feel free to change things. And again, anything you want to ask me, jot it down in the comments below. So, as always, you guys, take care, and I'll see you again soon.